Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Well, a state of emergency has officially been declared and I need to tell you about it, so please thumbs up the video so more people can hear the truth. We also have some updates with Joe Biden, Donald J. Trump that you don't wanna miss, so we're gonna jump in. But firstly, as always, we're reading from the Bible because that's what is important right now, the Bible. And comment amen if you agree. Because here on our show, we read the Bible, we share the truth, and we drink our coffee, okay? I don't know about you, but I drink coffee all day long. I need it. But what we need more is the Word of God. Amen to that? Okay, this comes from the book of Romans. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and to prove what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen? Amen. That's Romans 12, 2. I love that. Don't conform to the pattern of this world. I know, even here on YouTube, a lot of people are saying, Dylan, what are you, what is this, church? This isn't church, Dylan, get on with the news. I'm like, you pagan, go turn on CNN, okay? <laughs> Maybe you'll be happy after there, you can watch these those bimbos talk about how how much they love Joe Biden and Kamala Harris maybe you'll be happy then but here on my sh channel i know not everybody likes the bible verses you can skip ahead if you really don't like i should i shouldn't even have to apologize but hey i i'm not conforming to the pattern of this world and i know a lot of you guys too like to share god's word with other people and share your um your passion so uh, uh, there was a hurricane, um, or there is a hurricane in Florida. I was just talking to my friend about the hurricane here in uh, California, which thankfully, thank you for your prayers, we are all safe. Now, a state of emergency has been declared uh, in Florida as Hurricane Idalia approaches. Um, President Biden spoke with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Monday morning and assured him that the federal government will su fully support the state in preparation of the storm and its aftermath. We haven't seen similar um, efforts for Maui, the people of Maui. Joe Biden didn't fail to address it for days after it happened, which was actually very deadly over 100 people died they still have over eight i believe as of now they were uh, they a couple of days ago they had 800 people still missing and joe biden's like well i'm gonna i'll get i guess i'll get wake up from my nap and uh i, I guess i'll well i guess i can eat ice cream on the plane over so yeah i guess we can go as long as as long as there's ice cream on the private jet i guess we can go to maui jill and but jill's like well Joe, we're on vacation. Come on. We got to go on vacation 52 times. Um, we got to go on vacation 52 times every two years. Right? In our first two years of, of presidency, we went on vacation 52 times to Delaware. Joe Biden's like, that's only every other week. We, we should go on vacation every day. He's like, I'm, oh shoot, I forgot I'm president. I got to do stuff. Uh, speaking of which, Biden canceled $72 million in student loan debt for, for uh, 2,300 borrowers. He's going, the, the Supreme Court said, Joe Biden, you're trying to cancel student loan debt, 20000 $20,000 for all Americans. Yeah, they said that was not legal. And then Joe Biden goes, we'll find another way. I'm like, dude, you're fighting with the literal SCOTUS, bro. The Biden administration announced Wednesday it would forgive $72 million dollars uh, incident loan debt for, for more than 2,300 borrowers who attended Ashford University. Ashford. Why people go to Ashford? The aid will go to students from the online for-profit school based in San Diego who requested loan cancellation through the U.S. Department of Education. The relief goes to borrowers who were misled or defrauded by their college. Jeez Louise. Yeah, dude, and you wonder why inflation is through the roof. Uh, McMaster declares state of emergency in South Carolina ahead of impacts from, from Hurricane Idalia with heavy wind and rain expected across the strait. Yeah, guys, I don't know if you guys have been following along, but the hurricane is not, it, it's, it's super intense. And there was already two recorded deaths. This is, it's flooding like crazy. So please keep them in your prayers. Um, it, it's getting wild out there. Rescue workers with Tidewater Disaster Response 
I mean, these are people like going through, this is gnarly. I want to show, I don't know if I have the video, but there was somebody who was actually paddle boarding through, um, through the streets in Florida. Like it was so filled up. Uh, FEMA administrator plans to travel to Florida later today to survey storm damage. Please be safe when you go over there. Um, Biden is being briefed regularly on Idalia. How record-breaking hurricane Idalia has already made history. Yeah, this is Joe Biden here. He's on the phone. I'm actually surprised he's not in Delaware right now. He looks like he's actually in the White House. So good job, Joe Biden. You're doing your job. Good job, man. I spoke with Governor DeSantis, Kemp, McMaster, and Cooper to reiterate my administration's support for response and recovery in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, as Adalia makes rainfall. Uh, we'll keep working with personnel on the ground as the storm progresses. Awesome job, dude. Really, really awesome job. You're absolutely killing it there. Um, so... Let's see, I wanted to bring up the update with how many people died already because it's so such a catastrophe. Um, hurricane, yeah, it'll go into effect Wednesday night. There we have it there. Oh my goodness. This is so sad. And the amount of money that it's going to cost to rebuild. I mean, obviously, money is such so small compared to... Um, yeah, there was at least two deaths. Adali made landfall early Wednesday on Florida Gulf Stream. It has been linked to at least two deaths. It's the strongest hurricane to make landfall in the Big Bend region in more than 125 years. And it briefly intensified into a Category 4 hurricane before landfall. The storm is causing flooding in some areas and has left over 300,000 customers in Florida and Georgia without power. So this is super big. Um, now, I wanted to talk about Donald J. Trump and the update with his arrest because he came out and spoke basically to Kevin McCarthy about Joe Biden's impeachment. So I don't know if you guys have been following along with that, but he said the Republicans in Congress, talking about Kevin McCarthy there, though well-meaning keep talking about an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden. He said either impeach the bum or fade into oblivion. They did it to us. So he's basically telling Kevin McCarthy, dude, stop talking about a impeachment inquiry unless you're going to do it. Uh, Kevin McCarthy says GOP could launch impeachment inquiry into Biden when the House reconvenes. I believe it has already reconvened. I think they went on a short little break. The whole determination here is how the Bidens handle a demand for documents. Speaker Kevin McCarthy said in an interview on Fox Business. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said Tuesday that the House could move forward with an impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden. Now, I wanted to tell you guys really briefly that countries in Europe are basically preparing for Trump 2024. They are there. Uh, there's actually one country in particular that borders Russia uh, or that borders Ukraine. And a lot of these European countries are kind of scared if Trump becomes president 2024, because now they know that they're going to have to basically make up for all of the um, money that the United States will no longer be sending to Ukraine. So they're going to have to step up, which I mean, honestly, they're right there. Shouldn't they be, shouldn't they have already stepped up in the first place? I don't understand why the U S has sent more money to Ukraine than Europe, right? Like that's their own. Isn't Ukraine in Europe? Is that Eastern Europe? Where is that exactly? Uh, the, the war in Ukraine is about Europe's future. Yeah, it is in Eastern Europe. Okay. Um, but yeah, even Tucker Carlson said it. There was a, such a good interview with Tucker Carlson and, um, oh, here we go. I have to play this to you guys because this is, uh, Tucker Carlson and Mike Pence, basically Mike Pence talking about why we need to send more money to Ukraine. And then Tucker Carlson says, why don't you, uh, shouldn't we be supporting America? And then Mike Pence says, that's not on my, that's not my focus. So Mike Pence is basically saying America is not our focus. Yet you're running for president, dude. Are you joking? So I want to play this for you guys just so we can all see it on my show. Let's watch this together.
Biden administration has been slow in providing military support. Make no mistake about this. We promised them 33 Abrams tanks in January. I heard again two weeks ago in Ukraine, they still don't have them. We've been telling them we'll train their F-16 pilots, but now they're saying maybe January we'll let somebody transfer some jets. I'm sorry, Mr. Vice President, have you, I know you're running for president. You are are distressed that the Ukrainians don't have enough American tanks. Every city in the United States has become much worse over the past three years. Drive around. There's not one city that's gotten better in the United States. And it's visible. Our economy has degraded. The suicide rate has jumped. Public filth and disorder and crime have exponentially increased. And yet... Your concern is that the Ukrainians, a country most people can't find on a map, who've received tens of billions of U.S. tax dollars, don't have enough tanks. I think it's a fair question to ask, like, where's the concern for the United States in that? Well, it's not my concern. He said, it's not my concern. He said, where's the concern for the United States that? It's not my concern. You're running for president in 2024, bozo. You clown. Mike Pence, I don't care if you support Mike Pence. Keep in mind, you're supporting somebody who U.S. is not on their concern. I wouldn't vote for that person. Anyways, I'm going to end the video before I throw this computer across the room. Uh, We're going to end with one more Bible verse so that we can um, end the video. (laughs) Because got to do that. So comment amen if you stay to the end and if you like the Bible verses. This comes from the second book of Chronicles 7.14. If my people who are called by name, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn their wicked ways, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. That's from 2 Chronicles 7.14. Forgive their sin and heal their land. So, Let me know your thoughts on this video. Take care, God bless, and keep all these people in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, all these people in your prayers because they need it right now. It looks like it's getting intense out there. Thanks for watching and God bless.